I'm going to see the uh, infectious disease doctor tomorrow and uh, tell her that I'm having dizziness too. And I'm still having a little bit of chest pain. It's not necessarily the heart. Maybe it's some other muscle pain. But I'm not quite sure what it is. Funny thing, the side effects of the uh, antibiotics that I'm taking is um, it clears up my complexion, my facial complexion, so I don't have to worry so much about pimples. And another side effect of it is is uh, it takes away my um, heartburn or my acid reflux. So those are two good things. Uh, for about two and a half months, I've been taking some antibiotics, some uh, amoxicillin and some metro, metronidazole. Um, I have to take these antibiotics three times a day. Uh, before that, I was taking an IV antibiotic. Um, I don't, I can't think of the name specifically of that IV. I'll put it in. I'll put uh, uh, a link in this video in the description of this video, so you can see um, the IV uh, antibiotic that I was taking. But anyway, it gave me really bad diarrhea and. Um, uh, for like two months, for over two months, and so when I never could figure it out, I was on that bar diet, which is bread, uh, apples, rice, uh, toast, or tapioca pudding. I'm not sure, but anyway, I was so I was taking all that, eating all that stuff, and and nothing seemed to help. Um, and during the meantime, during the meantime, I kept having to have these training pads, these doggy pads underneath me, you know, or the blue pads, people call them blue pads over at the hospital. Um, they're uh, ultra-absorbing pads, so I don't get the seat, the bed, all soiled, you know, with poo-poo and things like that whenever I have accidents in the bed. Because I used to have accidents in the bed, you know, every two or three hours. Yeah, I just never could control it. I never could get it figured out. Uh, it didn't seem no matter what I ate, it didn't really seem to make a difference. But finally, my mom, she, uh, my mother-in-law, she makes this stuff, uh, it, rice. You know, she's cooked up some regular rice, some white rice, uh, with corn. And it got rid of that diarrhea. I, I had to, you know, I ate the, the rice with the corn. Uh, with every single meal. I live, eat like four or five times a day. So I had rice, uh, a serving of rice with every single meal. You know, my protein, getting my protein in there, getting my carbohydrates also in there, uh, getting my fruit in there, things like that. Uh, but the rice really seemed to help. The rice and the corn really seemed to help uh, get my diarrhea straightened around so that I was back in a normal somewhat <coughs> with the stools and form their stool forming and things like that. They were a pretty good consistency. But then I started to deal with constipation. And uh, I so then I didn't go. I couldn't go for like four or five days straight. You know, and that was bad. Um, and I was still taking the antibiotics like I showed you. But I still had the I was still I was, uh, just for grins and giggles, I still want to make sure that I had this pad underneath me because I didn't know when it was going to happen because it was going to happen, but it was going to be bad. It was going to be a real, a real big accident. So, anyway, I have this pad underneath me. Um, not only do I have it in this wheelchair seat, but I also had it underneath me in the bed. Uh, so I had one over here in, in the wheelchair seat and I had one underneath me in the bed and uh, the uh, the the pads are used for whenever I do have accidents in the bed then I don't get my wheelchair seat all messed up with poo poo and things like that um, so I just transfer onto the, the pad 
and under the uh, ultra absorbing pad, and I don't get any poop on the on the wheelchair seat whenever I transfer later onto the toilet and then go to the bathroom. But anyway, when I when I um, so I, I went from diarrhea to constipation, and then I had constipation, uh, and I couldn't go. And then I, so I totally got off the, the rice. I stopped having the rice anymore. Um, and so I would kind of get back into the diarrhea again. So I kind of was in between diarrhea and constipation, diarrhea and constipation. So with the rice and, and then uh, with the constipation, um, but then when the diarrhea started to happen again, then I started to get back into rice and corn. Um, <coughs> the, the, in order so that I didn't have constipation, then I started to have, I started to have, uh, things that get me away from diarrhea which uh, or are get me away from constipation, which are uh, green beans. Uh, green beans are real good uh, for me. And oranges also are extremely good for me uh, to deal with constipation. They, you know, get the system working again uh, pretty good if it's clogged up. So, uh, so anyway, um, the... I, I still had to take the antibiotics, and so I was still taking three, uh, three antibiotics, uh, I mean three times a day, two antibiotics three times a day, and that was, uh, you know, that's what causes me to have the diarrhea. So I had to, so I, 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 I've come up with a pretty good system right now that doesn't give me too much uh, uh, diarrhea. Uh, because of antibiotics, um, and uh, if I do have diarrhea, then I have the corn, and then uh, corn with uh, the, the uh, rice with corn, and then if I'm having constipation, then I have uh, green beans uh, with uh, with. Uh, I also have oranges sometimes if things get really, really uh, blocked up in my system, in my bowel. Um, so to find a happy medium, I'm starting to eat a little bit of rice every one or two meals, every other meal, every third meal, something like that. It seems to be working out pretty good because I still have to take the antibiotics because you know, my doctor recommended that I have to take that for the sepsis infections and the bone infection and uh, uh, all the other problems that's going on with the um, with my system. But uh, then, you know, like I said, if I if I'm starting to get into constipation and the blocking up of my bowels, then I have green beans or oranges. Um, but so far, so good. 